Hello everyone and welcome to the new video tutorial from Two Guys in a Cricket. Uh, today I'm actually doing a voiceover for this video, so just bear with me a little bit. And as you can hear, I do have a new microphone, so you should be able to hear me a lot better. In this video, you're going to notice that there are going to be a couple of little things that are going to pop up at the top that are going to show you exactly where we're at on the Layers tab. So we're going to go over the entire Layers tab today, and that's essentially uh, what we're going to learn. Uh, I wanted to go over the entire Layers tab instead of just one feature in this shorter video so that it would be easier for everybody to learn everything at once as opposed to breaking it down into each of the five uh, segments because it's, 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 I think it's just a little bit easier for you to see how everything works together on one image. So what we're first going to do is I actually got this image from the Insert Images tab. Uh, it's just a regular image straight from uh, Design Space. And it's actually, um, again, an image from Design Space that you get with the subscription. So first what I like to do is I like to separate these two different pieces and kind of break down what the layers look like. Uh, when we do this, it's a little bit easier to tell what we're going to do with these different parts of the layers tab. So we're going to undo that, and first what I'm going to show you is the slice feature. When we actually have everything grouped together, it will allow us to hit slice. And you'll see here, when I hit slice, what's going to happen is everything's going to be sliced as if you just put things on top of each other and sliced and cut it all out. So with this feature, you're going to have the because that's now separate from the top layer. The nice thing about this is previously, obviously these layers were uh, layered on top of each other and you would not have gotten that because title from there. So now we can use that because title somewhere else as opposed to having it just underneath this first layer. You can also use this to cut out shapes from different layers. Uh, with this, you are only able to cut out one layer at a time or slice one layer at a time, but this is something that's fantastic to use uh, with any type of shapes uh, that you have within uh, Design Space. This is just one way to do it, obviously, with the title. So the next one that we are going to do here is I'm going to show you how to weld an image and what the welding actually means. With welding, all it means is, again, very simply, the definition of welding is putting those two pieces together to become one. So what we'll do is, say we want to take this heart, and I want to put it onto this piece, and I want it to all become one piece and cut out as one. All we do is hit weld, and what will happen here is you'll see that everything has become one cohesive piece, and now we'll cut that all out together. Again, you can do this with many different shapes. You can create cards with this. Uh, we'll get into a little bit more in-depth of these different pieces in different tutorials. I just thought for this one, again, it's just basically taking the same shape and moving it around now uh, with the different layers. Now, what I'm doing now is I'm showing you the flatten feature. With flatten, what it's going to do is as soon as you hit flatten, it's going to take all the layers and make them into one, and it's going to make a print then cut. As you can see here, the print then cut comes up whenever you hit go. It's going to print it out first, and it will cut perfectly around this image. This is probably the simplest of all of them. It is going to, again, very simply flatten all of the layers and then cut it out after you print it. Now, with our last and final uh, that I'm going to show you here today in this tutorial is going to be the, the, uh, um, the contour tool. With the, excuse me, we are on the attach tool. Uh, with the attach tool, what that's going to do is it's basically going to take all of your pieces as one and it's just going to attach them together. It's going to get rid of the layers, and it's going to make it into one piece. So what will happen here is when we hit go, you'll see here that it is going to cut out everything just as you see it on the map. There are no layers. It's just going to cut out everything as one. Uh, this would be good if you wanted to attach uh, a layer on top of a layer and cut out like circles in between. Uh, it really depends on what you're doing with your project, but attaching is going to keep everything in place on top of one another. Our last and final, <laughs> since I jumped ahead, is going to be our contour feature. This is one of my favorites. Once you hit contour, you can go ahead and you can go in and you can select pieces of the cuts, and then you can hit contour again. And what will happen is you will remove those cut lines. So now we just have the B instead of uh, the full sentiment, and we can add in whatever we would like below. So I hope that this helps you today. If you have any questions, of course, send us a message at the two guys in a cricket Facebook page. 
and we thank you so much. You have a great day. Bye-bye.